world. New 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 world. Guys, I can't do it anymore. I can't avoid it. You know, I've always been open on this channel about what goes on in my life, and recently I've been open with you guys about personal life issues that have sort of held me back in terms of how much content I can actually put out on the channel. But this past week, the thing that's been keeping me occupied is New World. New World! Now, look, you guys have seen my channel. You know I'm not a serious critic, so take anything I say with a grain of salt large enough to choke an Alaskan bullworm. I mean, we slept with the Ebony Warrior, for Christ's sake. I think we're the only ones in Elder Scrolls history to accomplish such a bombastic feat. But I really do think that this game is awesome, and I think that you guys should give it a try when it releases next month. I used to be a big MMO guy growing up. Back in high school, I used to always play what seemed like every other week a brand new MMO or, or some new up-and-coming free-to-play MMO on my mom's laptop that eventually I blue-screened and broke. I remember it so vividly because when the laptop broke, my dad was investigating it and I was like standing over his shoulder, basically just sweating profusely, hoping that he wouldn't type in a P or an L into the address bar. Although looking back on it, he probably would have been much more disappointed in me if he typed in an L. RuneScape, Fallen Earth, Lord of the Rings Online, or as the cool kids called it, Lotro. Special shout out to anyone who actually played Fallen Earth because that game was fucking sick. I haven't felt this pumped for an MMO since then. Maybe it's because I do this whole record myself on video thing now, and I guess there's way less of a stigma against MMO games these days. I never really played World of Warcraft for that reason, although I can chalk that one up to insecurity and a lack of money for a subscription. I also never really liked the aesthetic of Eastern MMO-styled games like Final Fantasy. It really does feel like for the first time in my life, I've actually been able to jump into a game like this carefree and just be pumped to play an MMO again. Now let me tell you why I like New World. Let's start with the combat. Unlike every other MMO I've ever played, instead of just standing there with one hand smashing hotkeys and another scrolling through Lover's Lab, you actually gotta like, you know, do stuff? Some of the enemies have really unpredictable attack patterns, so if you learn them well, you can take on higher level enemies and feel like a complete stud dodging them like crazy. You know, maybe there are actually a lot of MMOs that are like this, but like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of research for this video, and I'm an idiot. Even if it's not the hardest enemy in the game, they'll still likely get a few knocks on you, so I kind of have fun trying to like not get hit, failing to do so, but then I do the sick thing where I like dodge them, whip out my Union Soldier, and just... <laughs> This game is a straight up dopamine simulator. It just is constantly blinking XP bars in your face and level ups and new skills and new bonuses and new loot and uh, kind of reminds me of another game. Look, I just want to reiterate here again that I'm no expert, and I'll never claim to be an expert, but I also want to reiterate that you should like this video if you want to see me here and not here. Did I mention that this game has oblivion gates? Okay, not exactly Oblivion Gates, but pretty goddamn close, and I can just hear the Oblivion theme song playing as I charge with this random group of guys that I found who out of nowhere were all of a sudden just questing to deliver Martin Septum the Amulet of Kings. It's not that insane, but... These things are actually really cool, and random events like that are always a lot of fun. I'm not gonna dive too deep into everything about this game, I'll leave that to the real MMO channels. These games aren't for everybody, they never are. And hardcore MMO fans usually find some incredibly obscure thing to go nuts over. I am having a ton of fun with this game, and one of the main reasons for that is the crafting. I brought up RuneScape earlier, and the crafting really does kind of reminds me of RuneScape because you can focus on one of the skills and kind of grind that one out, but usually final recipes involve combining several of the skills. I want to make ammo, so I need iron to make ingots. I need linen, so I find these plants that look like weed on the compass to make it. And I need wood to make charcoal to make gunpowder to make the ammo for my gun. It sounds like a lot of legwork, but it makes investing in the crafting really satisfying and a ton of fun, and I don't care if you like it or not, I think it's cool. I haven't jumped into the PvP a ton, but I did once, and let me tell you, it was one of the most genuinely fun experiences I've had in gaming in a long time. So I joined the green team, or faction, I think they're called, and a huge group formed outside my home city. I guess we were involved in some kind of war with the purple guys, and they were stepping up on our turf. Some real ballas versus Grove Street OG stuff. Pretty <laughs> said purple isn't stronger than family. <laughs> There's something about running a mile with a group of people this big and memeing this much. It's just awesome. It felt right. What's everyone's favorite Fast and Furious movie? Mine's nine. <laughs> Mine's nine. The one with Paul. Paul, what? Stop. Stop. That's not funny. That's not funny. This is so fun.
We haven't even gotten to the battle. I'm having so much fun. Imagining doing something like this with my friends has me really excited for the final release. An epic showdown on the cliffside, launching off shots, taking cover, charging, and inevitably making the worst PvP play of my entire life. Hopefully we're winning. I feel like I'm going to come across this mountain and... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Oh, no. This is a totally random note, but it's really common in this game for people in hub towns to just go prone and human centipede each other. If you aren't getting a face full of ass within your first hour of playing, then you aren't playing New World. So that's my opinion on the game so far. There's probably a litany of issues that I missed, but like I said, I'm not a harsh critic. If you have been playing, what do you think of the game? What did I miss? And are you going to play the game on release at the end of August? This is a totally different style video than my usual on the channel, so if you enjoyed it, let me know. I don't know if I plan on making a whole lot of New World content, because with an MMO I can't really break the game like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, but I'm certainly interested in trying, and I'm definitely interested in getting a group going with you guys when it comes out, so join my Discord and maybe we can squad up when the game comes out. That being said, these have been the ramblings of a Midwestern American madman slash nerd slash YouTube guy, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you to Patreons Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, Pangy, and Merc200. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.